Good day, YouTube. 1MJ here, and welcome back. All right, Sunday afternoon here in Australia, and the market is up, still continuing upwards. Look, $1.85 trillion. As you can see over here, we're growing ever so close to that $2 trillion mark again. But some really interesting things are happening on the charts, and we'll have a look at that very shortly. That, you know, may kind of sway your decision on you know where the market's going to go at least in the short term long term well sort of mid-term i think we're still going up uh and long term definitely up but you know obviously there'll be some kind of correction coming at some stage and look we may be at that point now but again we'll have a look very shortly but yeah look up 2.4 percent overall volume looking pretty nice there btc price $44,000. It's at a very key uh, place right now. And again, we'll have a look shortly. And gas prices, $2.16. Look, not the worst, but not the best either. And we, I've gone over my thoughts on that and we won't take up any more time of that. All right, a bit of a mixed bag. Some things up, some things down, sort of all over at the place at the moment. So what's done well in the last 24 hours, considering the market is up 2.4% in general? All right, this says that people think we are bullish and are getting prepared for the next bull run. Shiba Inu and Dogecoin are the biggest gainers, both up 20 plus percent in the last 24 hours. People are starting to make their moves. They're getting bullish. And look, I hope they're right. I've been doing similar things, just not in Doge and Shiba Inu, uh, in all fairness. But yeah, up, I mean, Ethereum Classic, 11%, Safe Moon. Good Lord, it's gone from two to three, so <laughs> it's made a move. Zero uh, X, XRP, CeeLo, Quantum, look, we got gains. You know, Axie Infinity just continues to go. I mean, look at that. Boom, very nice pump there. Funny thing is, Axie Infinity has pumped a whole lot already. But if this thing goes viral, and it already is sort of semi-viral, then it could go much higher. And that is a scary thought for me. Not jumping into it. I'm not that much into gaming. Like, I do like to play some games, but, you know, I'm a little bit older, so I'll leave that one to the younger folk. I just don't want to ape in case uh, it turns around and falls. It'd be too big a loss for me. But, hey, look, like I said, this if this goes viral, it could get absolutely massive. So, yeah, look, gains across the board. All right, what about losses? Is there much losses considering the market is up in general? There is, look, eCash, uh, ThorChain uh, had a bit of a sort of downward slope there again. Uh, it, it went up for a little while, but, you know, it might be just ranging at the bottom. We'll have to wait and see. BitTorrent, uh, the graph down a little bit, uh, Theta Fuel, Terra Luna. Look, a lot of these coins that are down at the moment are coins that have already been pumping over the last sort of few days or so. So it's nothing sort of too much to worry about. You know, it's not going to be green every single day. And, you know, like Ravencoin, I haven't looked at the charts, but it probably went up 10% in the last sort of seven days. And so now it's retraced 6% in the last 24 hours. Still up overall, but, you know, just a, a bit of a healthy correction. There are people actively trading this. And when it gets to certain points, they take some profits. And that's a pretty smart idea. It's, you know, for me, again, I'm not really a trader. I'm, I'm more an investor, but I do do a little bit of trading. So for me, it's the same sort of thing though. I mean, if you bought Ravencoin, you know, at half this price, it's probably not a bad idea to take some profits right now. And again, I'm never offering you financial advice. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. But maybe you think Ravencoin's going to at least, you know, I don't know, 20 cents or something. And if that's the case, then you're probably holding, but you can guarantee it about 20 cents, then obviously that's where people will be taking profits. But look, losses, not too bad. No major losses in the top 100, but we did see, again, some quite nice gains. And this really is a telling sign that Doge and Shiba Inu have moved big time. That says that people are getting ready for the next run. They all think uh, it's going to be bullish and it's coming. That is something that has me a little bit worried because quite often, you know, the big, the big, the whales, as they call them, the big players, they're going to counter trade that. And so we could be seeing a bit of a correction. Again, I'm not think, I'm not saying we're going into a bear market, but we're about to get onto the Bitcoin chart and it's going to show something very interesting and why I said we really are at key levels right now. Here is Bitcoin. Have a look at this. I drew this line months ago. And where are we now? Bang, right on it. And getting a rejection at the moment. And also this red line here, 
200 day moving average look at where it's all meeting up right here at that kind of 44,040 yeah, three thousand dollar level thereabouts. So this is going to be one hell of a fight, and it is quite possible that we get rejected from this and come back down and maybe test forty one thousand, or maybe even come back down and test sort of thirty six thousand, possibly even thirty two thousand. Now I'm not saying it's going to do that. You know, if you looked at the Wyckoff accumulation chart, this is supposed to chop around a little bit before it finally goes back up. So it wouldn't surprise me if Bitcoin comes back down to 30, sort of 7,000, 36,800. Again, not saying it will, I'm just saying it wouldn't surprise me. So, you know, buyer beware is all I'm saying, particularly in the, for the traders more in the short term. I'd say a lot of them probably will short it from here because they expect to get uh, a good rejection. Now, what we also need to keep in mind, this is where the CME gap is at. $42,970, a CME gap has been created. We are currently at $44,332. So I would say it is quite possible that tomorrow when the markets open, it comes back down and closes off. And again, that's basically around about here, sort of $42,000. So a bit of a rejection here, come back down, close the CME gap first thing Monday morning before it slowly starts to make its way back up. But what's also very interesting is, again, I drew this channel here months and months and months ago. Or over a year ago, actually, I drew this channel. And Bitcoin has been sitting in it almost perfectly. This is from that big correction uh, last year, the March uh, crash. And look at it. It's been following it almost perfectly. Reached the top, reached the bottom, reached the top, broke out reach the uh, complete breakout, come back down, bouncing off the bottom, then we broke out. And now look where everything is meeting up. It's almost sort of picture perfect. It's, un it's unbelievable. 200 day moving average. The downwards trending line with this upwards trending channel, everything is converging right now, right here at this 44, sort of 45-ish thousand dollar mark, thereabouts. So, again, I think the CME gap will uh, be open. There is one down at $32,000. So it is, again, that's why I was saying it's quite possible. You go over here. Look, we've got a gap down here at sort of 32400 Well, really, it starts at 34000 So you can wick sort of halfway down there, 33000 So there are some gaps there and one's being created. But this is where it's all happening. On the Bitcoin chart, everything has converged here. There's so many... Uh, you know, indication marks all lining up with this price. So if it breaks through and it could, then I think things are going to get super bullish. But I also think it's more likely that we probably come down, close this CME gap at 42,000 before we start to make our way back up sometime sort of early to mid uh, next week. Considering it's Sunday, Monday is uh, the start of the new week. I think that's possible. And that even still lines up perfectly right there at sort of $44,000. 200 day moving average. So again, we come down, we get rejected, close down here, and then immediately come back up here. But the upside to here is if we go up, and it's not going to go straight up, but we're looking at $44,000 going straight up to an upside of $91,000. Now, please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Bitcoin is going to go to $91,000 overnight, but that is the scale of what we're looking at. If we, Because we're getting back into this upwards trending channel that's been in uh, play for a very long time. Again, March 2020, and we're right on the cusp of it at the moment. We can see that there's periods where you break out above it, and then there's periods where you can break out below it. Now, this will be broken. There's going to be a bear market, and this will have to stop. And it may already be stopping. This could end up going down, down, and down. That is possible. That's something I've got in the back of my mind. But I think it's more likely we close this gap, then start to make our way back up here, and then I'll have to extend this out. But at the moment, the upside for Bitcoin, if it gets back into this channel, is 90 something thousand dollars. And again, it just continues to get higher. I mean, that's, uh, that's as of sort of tomorrow. So there we go, the 9th of August. The upside for Bitcoin in that channel is 91,000. You go a couple of days later 
and it's $97,000. You take that out to the 22nd of August. And again, if we get back up in there, then I'll have to extend this out. So interesting times. We're going to have to wait and see. We could, unfortunately, look, there's two sides to every coin. We know that. This could get bearish. We could get a clean rejection from here and then just start to come down. And then all the people who think we're in a bear market are going to be right. This is that dead cat bounce. Comes over, bounces, makes you think it's going back up, and then just continues lower. Totally possible. But that's the Bitcoin chart moving on. All right, so I made some purchases today, and I want to show you some interesting charts. Now, I didn't buy all of these, but things are looking interesting. All right, you trust. As we can see, it got up super high. I mean, it was right up to, this is against the dollar, so it was a dollar nine. It's currently at 30 cents. Now, it came all the way down, bounced there, and had another bounce there, and then had that final capitulation. So you could have picked this up for 15 cents, thereabouts. Yep, 15 cents. And right now, if you were lucky enough to pick it up there, you would have doubled your money. Now, what I do see is there's a lot of convergence where it is right now, but I do think it's quite possible that it comes back down to about sort of 25 cents. So that's only four cents, not a big difference, but have a look at all the the signs of, you know, it coming to 25 cents. You know, a lot of, it, there's a, it just bounces off at time again over here, time again over here, and then you can even see back over here, and again, back even sort of over here uh, around about there we were very close yeah the last one was there but a whole stack of convergence so you trust is looking pretty good if you you know if you believe we're in a, a bull market you trust might be something to buy into I didn't buy into you trust so you can only put your money so far but you trust was something I considered but I just saw some better charts and this is one of them chilies oh my god here is the top 72 cents it's currently 30 cents excuse me it's basically a two and a half x to its old all-time high but what is even more promising about it is look at this it has been basing for ages just staying flat this is accumulation right here accumulation 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 the bears weren't in control the bulls weren't in control it was just sort of even it's basically gone flat and dormant for a while and this could be looking really really good could be again never financial advice but what makes me think that look at this kind of flat period here one spike up we dropped down a little bit but it was flat for quite some time and then this is what Chili's did all the way up to the top you went from sorry I'll bring this down a little bit you went from ch Chili's trading at about a cent for quite some time to 92 cents. In nearly, well, you know, let's, we'll round it. Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. What's kind of the average price here? Uh, yeah, I reckon you can average that off to about a cent. And then it made it all the way up to 90 cents. 95 cents. That's a 95x, ladies and gentlemen. And it did that from basically the 12th, the 15th of December to the 14th of March, just in a couple of short, you know, three months. In three months, you can 95X your money. Well, again, I'm not saying you're going to, but you could have, not you can, you could have. If you had been sitting on Chili's there, wow, what a move. And I just get the feeling that's what Chili's is doing now. Again, it's forming another base, just going sideways. This could go sideways for longer, and again, could, even sort of come back down and retest these levels, so 21 cents as opposed to 28 cents. But I just get the feeling something like this is getting ready to come. Now, I'm not. It, it's unlikely that it's going to do exactly the same. It could do better. So again, never financial advice. I don't. You know, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not telling you exactly what's going to happen. But this is just looking sweet at the moment. I am like, you know, it's all lining up with this mark over here. Look at this. This is where it had that last vertical push and then kind of tried to hold and it couldn't had that capitulation like most things. And then it's just been bouncing off this range right here. So again, 21 cents would be the optimal buy. I don't know if it's going to go back down to 21 cents, but 20, you know, or 22 cents. 
the difference between six or seven cents for me is splitting hairs. It makes a big difference, uh, you know, in the long run if you were able to buy it at 21 cents and you bought a lot of it. But for me, I'm happy to buy it at 28 cents. I think, you know, the worst that can happen is, again, maybe it comes back down to sort of, you know, 21 cents, uh, sorry, 20 cents, thereabouts. I'll just buy more. Simple as that. I think Chili's is gearing up to do something great. Now, synthetics, I didn't buy any synthetics. Uh, again, it's just because there's only so much uh, money that can go around. But this is this upwards trending chart. All these are against the dollar. And have a look at this. It's been trading in there amazingly. Great buying opportunity. Got down to near the bottom again. Another great buying opportunity. It is trading below at the moment. And again, look at the 200-day moving average. It's still well under its 200-day moving average. Chili's sitting right on its 200-day moving average. It is mimicking what Bitcoin is doing at the moment. A number of coins are. Now, what I can say about synthetics, though, is it's well under its 200 because of all the fight about regulatory pressure and all the rest of it. And that is one reason why I didn't buy any more. I'm not panic selling my synthetics network, but I'm just not going to sort of ape back into it at the moment when we don't know exactly what's going on. I've got a good bag of it anyway. And, you know, maybe next week or, you know, a fortnight's time or something like that, I might buy a little bit more. But again, I'm just holding because what I can see here, it is almost back around about here. I wish I could have bought at this kind of price level back over here so again around about eight dollars i missed that but it is well under its upward trading channel uh, upwards trending channel so you know fortune favors the brave this could be a really really good buy for synthetics network because again when it gets down below i mean you know what's this buying it at 38 cents and then it made it all the way to seven dollars fifty again 30 sorry 36 cents 38 cents thereabouts and that was on the 13th of march 2020 so that was right after the big crash and look it even got down lower some people might have been able to pick it up for 30 cents or sort of 27 cents but from march until august i mean massive moves massive massive moves unbelievable and even then you know if you were lucky enough to buy it at sort of 30 cents and then you know again managed to sell it at 28 dollars great move i was lucky enough i bought it somewhere in around about sort of here 80 sort of ish cents uh i was picking uh most of my synthetics up uh and i have sold and bought back in a few times uh but just with all the regulatory fud haven't bought any more but this could be a really really good buying opportunity again never financial advice this is what i did buy xrp now you know some people love it some people hate it and, and, and i get the reasons for both sides why people love it and why people hate it for me uh, I like what Da Vinci J said, uh, don't date it, trade it. <laughs> so I'm not married to any one coin really, except for sort of Bitcoin and Ethereum, but more Bitcoin than Ethereum because we still need to see Ethereum 2.0 and how, how it goes. But again, same thing, XRP, it is sitting right on its 200 day moving average at the moment. A number of coins are. But what we can do is we draw this average trend line since the big dump in March 2020. And this is where there's the most confluation. So that's confluation. Sorry, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. That word right and I'm struggling with my English again. But this is sort of the general trend line. This is where it, sometimes it's under and sometimes it's over. But there's the most uh, touches here. And have a look where XRP is right now. Sitting just above it. We can see it bounced off it at 73 cents. Uh, and so again, I was happy to buy it at sort of 81 cents and right on its 200 day moving average. And you know, if again, you think that the bull market is here, this could be getting ready to explode. If the market, you know, really does start to pump. And again, I take you back to this and you know, the upside for Bitcoin as of today, and I don't think it's going to do it today, but is 91,000. If it was to get back to the top of that upwards trending channel, and again, I'm not saying it's going to do it, uh, especially not overnight, not today or tomorrow, but that is the upside. We are on the absolute low side of this upwards trending channel, and it looks like we could get back into it. 
So yeah, looking great. Right, engine, very, very similar as well. Here is the average price. We can see where, you know, it's been well above it at times. It's been well below it at times, but these is, this is the average where it's been touching the trend line the most. And look where engine's sitting right now. Just keeps bouncing off it, tippy-toeing around it. We drop below it, tippy-toeing around it. I think engine could be getting ready for another really, really big move. So I was like, yep, straight into it. Engine, number one, I love the project. I'm a long-term holder of engine, uh, but I'm also, you know, buying some. Most of my long-term buys were bought way back here though. These are the stuff that I'll, I'll never sell because I'll unlikely ever be able to buy them at those prices again. I was, wasn't was lucky enough to buy right in here, but I did start to buy sort of around about here of a few things, but mostly, and all the charts look somewhat similar. This is where I was buying, not too long after the crash. And I just don't know if you'll ever see prices like that again. So most of what I bought in here, I'll never sell again, but stuff that I've been buying along the way here, I will sell. That's the stuff that I'm sort of, you know, I trade a little bit with, you know, I, I do some sort of swing trades. Sell at highs, try to buy back in at lows. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But for me, engine, have a look at that. It is just perfectly, and again, sitting on the 200 day moving average. Most coins are sitting around about there. And this is how you go through the charts and try and find out if something's a good buy. It's never 100% because that's like saying, oh, well, this should have been a good buy then but then it just dumped like this. So not always, but it just gives you a good indication. Then you need to take in volume, then you need to take in market sentiment, where we are in the cycle. Again, 250 day, 100 day moving averages, all those sort of things. But just so much things are lining up at the moment for engine, I was like, yep, I'm gonna buy some. And again, if, if it doesn't work out, so be it. I didn't put thousands of dollars into it. Uh, and it won't uh, make or break me, but I get the feeling like it'll probably bounce around under here and then start to make its big move up again. All right, Matic Polygon, very similar sort of thing, except for it is well under at the moment. What it is doing though, is reminding me of Chili's. Look what happens when Matic travels sideways. Boom. You can go back here, look what happens when Matic travels sort of sideways. Boom, has these big price right ranges. Look what happens when Matic uh, travels sideways. Boom, way, way up there. Now look what we have. Matic has been sort of trading sideways for quite some time. Got up to $2, sort of 20-ish thereabouts. So there you go, $2.47 uh, on Binance and got as low as 67 cents. 200 day moving average, bounced off it perfectly. And now, possibly starting uh, its next move to the upside. So again, Matic uh, jumped on that straight away. When you see this kind of you know, sideways action with not too much movement, yes, we had that, but then the correction wasn't you know, totally brutal either. Really, it came back down and just retested uh, old support, uh, old resistance, sorry, and used it as support other than that final capitulation move. And last but not least, ADA. Whew. This has been basically traveling sideways since February, thereabouts. I mean, have a look at that. Bouncing a little bit above it, then bouncing back down below. Same thing, 200 day moving average. Uh, used it as resistance for a, basically a day. And now look at it. This is just accumulation, accumulation, accumulation. I get the feeling like this is going to go mental. I get the feeling like when they roll out their smart, smart contracts, uh, is it Gogan I think it is at the moment uh, that they're going for? Could be completely wrong, I'm not 100% up to date, but this just looks super juicy. I mean, if this does get ready to go, I think it's gonna move and it's gonna move really hard. I mean, people are talking about eight, ten dollars and you're currently able to buy it at $1.45. Every time, you know, let's round that up to $1.50, every time it goes up uh, like to $3, uh, you know, you you doubled your money at $3. $4.50 is you've tripled your money, uh, and then, you know, $6 and, you know, all that. Just, yeah, looking amazing. I think big, big things are gonna come, but it is all dependent, unfortunately, unfortunately, depending how you look at it, on Bitcoin. If we get a clean rejection from here and go down, everything else is gonna go down with it. So this is really what I'm watching. But 
I did, you know, I put my money where my mouth is. I bought Ada, I bought Matic, I bought Engine, I bought XRP, and I bought Chili's. Didn't have enough money. I mean, I could have, you know, divided it down even more, but in the end, you know, you're just not buying that much. Didn't buy synthetics. I may look at that again uh, in a sort of week or a fortnight's time. Uh, and same with uh, Utrust. All right, look, that's it from me. That's my thoughts. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Are you bullish? And if so, what are you buying? Well, I was going to say that's undervalued. Everything is undervalued at the moment. Most things are sitting at their 200-day moving average. And I mean, look at the upside from the 200-day moving average when things are really, really bullish. All right, stay safe. Be kind to one another. Everybody should be on that gain train at the moment. And I'll see you next time.